Hey everyone, Helldiver here, and I'm going to show you guys how I pretty much launch um, the KSO. Of course, we've got the satellite in there, small little satellite, and your launch profile will be different depending on how heavy a load you're taking. And different people have different methods of you know launching spacecraft this one seems to work best for me and give me a pretty good orbit without being so eccentric or wobbly i normally set up my adi and i'll set up the nav ball displays on the mfts before launch Now the important thing is to have SAS on. This will help the shuttle stay on course without flipping or getting out of control. I set my throttles to full and then launch. Around a thousand meters, I begin tilting backwards. About 15 to 20 degrees, gradually. You don't want to tilt it too much or you'll lose control. That seems pretty good. I then want to monitor my fuel amount, and right as it hits zero, right a little bit right after zero, I want to separate the LRBs. Right there. If you do it too early, you run the risk of them smashing into the tank or into the very fragile uh, wings of the KSO. Now after they separate I start banking even further um, and my goal is close to 80 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees, so I'm gradually banking backwards into the horizon. And we see KSC down there. The EFT should have enough fuel to get you up there and possibly even do your circularization burn. Again, it depends on your weight and what you are planning to do, what your mission is. If you only want to stay in the map view, if you look at your liquid fuel amount, once it hits about 360, then the EFT will be empty and at that point I normally go back into the standard view and then I separate. Right now I'm monitoring my fuel amount and my apoapsis. And apoapsis is between 72 and 75 uh, is usually what works best for me. Uh, 75,000 meters or so. And then I cut off power. Pretty much I just coast to the apoapsis. And here I set up my maneuver node. Now this is a little eccentric, a little wobbly. That's all right. I can always uh, burn prograde or retrograde until I have a perfect. The, the KSO has enough fuel on board to uh, get your circularization just right. And normally I start by burning it around T minus 20, seems to work best for me. And I'm burning prograde towards the target that I created. And that would be the blue symbol on your nav ball.
I turn on RCS just to keep me stable during this burn. And then I'm monitoring both my circularization path and the liquid fuel. You can continue to burn into circularization with the tank, but you're just pushing all that weight. It's not so efficient. And then there's the issue that the tank will probably be in your path. So I detach from the tank, I RCS away from it, and then I continue my circularization. Now if I had a different mission profile or I had other plans, the OMS engines are a lot more efficient in vacuum over the Thrustmax engines. However, for this demonstration, the Thrustmax was enough. Now, had this been an actual mission, I would probably use the OMS to maneuver uh, myself in a, into a good spot to release the communication satellite I have aboard. Now the plan is to create modules and components that will fit the cargo bay. So I used one of the smaller components and pieces real quickly for this, but the plan is to have accessories and satellite parts and space station parts that'll fit the much smaller bay. <laughs> 